internship program um, is one that we started, we being St. Mary's College and, our, and myself, started basically in about 2003. And it's nothing that is really formalized within NAVAIR, but it has been a very, very strong collaboration since we started. We recruit students from the college. They come here and they work in our labs. Um, and they do some of their St. Mary's projects, which are senior capstone projects here, um, or they do summer internships here. I started working here as an intern the summer before my senior year at St. Mary's, working with Dr. Narducci half of my time here and Dr. Grossman half of my time here for my St. Mary's project. And that just gave me not just experience with research, but seeing multiple applications of the research. I was doing two different research projects at the time. And it kind of gave me the feel for what it would be like to do this on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the challenge is just uh, when you come in and you know nothing, it's uh, you know getting over looking and seeing how much there is to learn and how much you need to know before you can really get started and uh, getting over like being scared that you're not going to be able to keep up and um, once you get over that then you, you learn quickly and you, you find that you're able to do it. The coolest thing about it, I would say, is that the kind of stuff that we're learning in here is something that you can't get in a classroom at all. So it's really cool to see everything click, to see the connection between the classroom world and applying it, especially now that I'm a senior and I'm getting close to trying to find a job, applying it and seeing how it works out in real life. So it's really cool to make that connection. St. Mary's is specifically targeted because of the locality. You know, the college is right here. The students can come back and forth as they need to. Um, a lot of them will come in between classes. They've got four or five hours, and so they can come here, take some 10 minutes. They work here for four hours, and they go back. It gets you out of the classroom. You really, you know, you get to see what, uh, what you've learned and how you can apply it out in the real world. You just don't get as much learning out of a book. It just, I think there are two types of education you can receive, and that's one, and you can be really good at taking tests and memorizing cramming material the night before and then you can apply that knowledge in a situation like this and it's I feel like it's a completely different part of your brain. They're going to take away a much deeper understanding of physics, they're going to take away a much deeper understanding of cutting-edge technology because this is cutting-edge stuff that they're doing. You know a love of laboratory work. From the beginning from two years ago it's I can't even explain how much I've learned. To work in such close proximity to people like Frank and who really know what they're talking about and you can get hands on, especially in a lab like this, it's the basics. So it's ground zero, you can start, you can tear things apart and you can put them back together and you really realize what's going on at the very basic level of all of this stuff. All of the experience that I've had, I will be going on um, four or five years of research experience when I graduate, which most people don't have that opportunity to say. With the publications of papers and other posters that I've been associated with, I've built up a really strong resume in curriculum vitae. We hope that they carry away a sense that they've accomplished something for the Navy big picture. They're not working on something we know the answer to. They're working on stuff we need, and so we kind of learn with them and so we hope that they carry away a sense of accomplishment too. I think it's great to know that something that I am going to work on is going to be you know, used on planes, used on ships. It's going, to be, it's going to really affect how we navigate. Actually, I would love to do stuff like this for the rest of my life if that were possible. No one at my age has the ability to say something like that, so it's really great.